Hi, I'm Zini. Welcome to my channel. And first, before I start, I wanted to let you know what I'm wearing. So I have a black leotard with a ball looking skirt and I have some white tights with Jack Skeleton printed on the bottom. Really cute for the Halloween spooky time and fall. All right, so today I'm gonna start off by letting you know that it is Halloween coming up, as you all know, and you all will be looking for outfits and costumes and animes and cosplays. So today I'm gonna show you a few that I suggest that I really love and are um, not costly, low cost for the most part. And I'm going to show you what they look like and show you all angles and tell you a little bit about each anime. So, the first anime. So, this one is Eurorica. And this one is um, low cost. But, as you can see, they have a crotchless version. So I purchased this and I bought the regular version and they sent me the crotchless version. So I was stuck with this. I mean, I could have sent it back, but you don't know if you're going to get the same one again after you wait all that time. I feel like they, these are just made, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? They're made like really fast. <laughs> and these are uh, one size fits most. So they'll probably just send it out. So they have different versions of them, but you don't know what version you're gonna get. So I got the garage list, didn't really want it, but uh, you could all also just like put like shorts over it or something. I put pantyhose personally, and then it just, it, it helps it like cover it, so. That's what I do, but I'm going to pair the, this with some um, navy pantyhose and show you what it looks like. It's got the nicest zipper in the back, and the zipper is pretty good. It's a small one, and um, this is affordable, so that is good, and I love the colors. So I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to show you what it looks like with some navy pantyhose. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is Eurorica from My Hero Academia, and this is the cosplay. So this one is like, all right, so this is the anime uh, Eurorica from the series uh, My Hero uh, Academia. <laughs> so, this anime cosplay is less than $20 or around that. So, it is affordable and it's lightweight, so you can pretty much pair anything with it, like I did with the pantyhose. And as you can see, the pantyhose doesn't show the crotchless, so that's perfect. It's just like the original. So, I would recommend if they do send you the wrong one, this is what you could do, or you could put shorts over it. But it's very versatile, very lightweight. You could pack it in your bag and it doesn't take up much space. So that's a plus. It's really, really nice. As you can see, the material is kind of um, transparent, translucent, see-through a little bit, but not too bad. But very flexible, stretchy, really nice material. Also, I'd like to add to keep this low cost, and if you are a brunette, you could just wear your hair because her hair is like a brunette or you could have darker hair as well, either or. Um, so that's an easy way to make it cost effective because most cosplays, 
uh, it requires you to wear a wig. So this is one that if you are a brunette, you can wear your your natural hair, just style it up, and you know you can be your rubber cut. And we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, so the next cosplay I'm going to show you today, if you are a redhead, auburn, or red, auburn, mixed with brown, this one's for you. This is Jean Grey. So this is a full body. And this one is around 20, around 20, let's just say that, depending on where you, get it from um but this one is very beautiful look at all the colors i i do want to note that the gloves you really can't use like use your hands so if you use your phone or whatever i've seen some people like cut off like just the parts where your like fingers are so they could use their phone or be able to do different things because it's hard to do it with the gloves on like that. But just to let you know, like if you want to go to a con or anything like that and you need to use your hands, sometimes people either do that or take the the actual hand off completely and just have a the sleeve on. That's a that's also a good idea. So I show you. it has a tiny zipper in the back. You unzip it. It's a really nice stretchy material and as you can see, you can see me through it a little bit. It's a little transparent, translucent, see-through. Very stretchy. So this one I, I had like just the regular sizing. Now some websites you can put in your actual like height weight measurements and get it like perfect so the you would have like everything cinched in and looking good but this one's just off the rack so we're gonna show you what it looks like and talk about it and i'll be right back also i like to add as you can see there's a seam right there some people cut along that seam and then they peel it down so it's easier to work and walk around and do stuff at cons and all that. So just to let y'all know, just if you wanted to purchase this and you're worried about using your hands and arms and all that. So this is Jean Grey. Alright, so I have another anime that's full body suit, and this is Mara Makanami, and this is from EVA and Neon Genesis, and the back, and as you can see, they're both body suits, anime body suits, so they're going to fit similar. And it is a lower cost cosplay Halloween suit. I'm going to put it on and show you what this one looks like. The Mara Makanami. And I'll be right back. 
All right, here is Mar Mari Makinami anime. And I paired it with the red glasses like she does. Alright, so that was the last cosplay slash Halloween costume, and that's it for the video for today. And let me know what cosplay costume did you prefer, which one your favorite is, and which one would you wear for Halloween. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe.